Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, I have an exciting video planned for you. And that is, I'm heading back out to Lake St. Clair, so hopefully I can catch some Mondo smallmouth and or more sheephead. I don't really care, they both fight hard. But if I can catch like a five, six pound smallmouth, that would be absolutely insane. But I don't think I will, but you never know. I just feel like I'm on a roller coaster every time I go up these waves, but that's completely fine, guys. It's completely fine. I'm probably the only person dumb enough to uh, kayak fish St. Clair like this, but the only thing I got tied on is a Ned Rig again because it worked so well in the last time I came here. This wasn't my best idea, but the weather showed northwest, which would have been perfect for where I launched if the weather was actually right, but it, it's not. When should you ever really trust the weathermen, honestly? That's just my, that's my question. They're never right. There's fish, yep, oh yep, finally got one here, guys. Oh, that feels like a good one too. Uh, maybe not that, oh yeah, that's a decent one. Oh yeah, nice little small jaw, I'm pretty sure. Let's freaking go, guys, oh goodness fighting the waves to get some big old fish. You love to see it, guys. He is digging just like they always do. <laughs> Dude, I just, I, I'm gonna come out here way more often. It's just, it, it's just so much fun out here, guys. These fish are just next level, and I, I just keep saying that, but it's just, it is true. They're just so much fun to catch here. All right, I, I have a net today, and I'm gonna try my best not to just drop it in the water like I did the other day. Oh my gosh, let's land them. <laughs> That's a good fish, guys. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to take the net and I'm going to put it back in the rod holder where I had it before. But that is a beautiful smallmouth right there. I'm honestly going to get a weight because I'm kind of curious. I think it's around two pounds probably. I mean, nothing gigantic, but it's a great start to the day. Well, let's go. Hopefully we can just keep crushing these dudes. Okay, I can't get the scale to hold because it's really wavy, but he's he's around uh, two, two pounds, like two pounds, three ounces. So just around two pounds. Wonderful, wonderful first fish to start the day. All right, thanks for the bite, bud. And see you later. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. Just on the good old Ned rig. This thing gets it done. Just keep drifting and casting and hope for the best. It's a good thing I don't get motion sickness very easily. Otherwise, I would be absolutely toast right now. Oh boy, there we go. Daggum boat waves when they come by, dude. Freaking massive, dude. It's been a struggle so far, guys. I mean, I got that one fish, but other than that, I'm just rocking in the waves, getting a headache. I don't know, but I think I need to refuel and eat some uh, my protein bar. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. But hopefully the bite will start picking up as the evening goes on, but we still got about like three hours of daylight left. So we got a lot of fishing left to do. Hopefully we can do some more catching. That's all. Oh, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit. There's a fish. Oh yes, right at the bottom of my freaking kayak, dude. Oh, <laughs> he is jumping. Dang, yum. Oh my goodness. Just as I was saying, I haven't got a bite. I literally just ate my protein bar, like three casts later, caught a fish. I guess I just needed a little bit of a break. Oh my gosh, dude. This guy is not giving up. Oh, all right. You're coming in the net, bud. Oh, he just jumped in the net. Let's freaking go, mate. Not quite as big as the first one, but I will definitely take it. These guys fight so hard regardless of their size. Nice little like one pounder there though. I do appreciate your bite, dude. Oh, he was quick to go. He, he didn't want anything to do with me. He's like, nah, I freak out of here, man. I'm hoping I can just get one more fish before sunset. Got like an hour left of daylight. It's been a bit of a struggle today, but it's just, it's very relaxing just sitting out here on the water and enjoying the beautiful scenery. The pure silence on this lake right now is so relaxing. Just me and God in his creation. 
just big vibing right now. As you can tell, the sun is setting, so we don't have a lot of daylight left. And I actually have like a probably 25 minute kayak ride back into shore. I'm gonna start kayaking back. I'll probably fish a little bit more closer to my uh, docking point, but I don't wanna be out in the middle of the lake when it's dark. That just wouldn't be a very smart decision by me. Not like I ever make smart decisions, but this one, I should probably be on the more cautious side. Now just wet in a line to sunset. Really don't get much better than this, y'all. Unless I were to catch a fish, I, I guess that would make it a little bit better. But still, even without catching a fish, it's just such a vibe out here. You know, we're bringing back for the vibes. I gotta drain this thing from how much water I took on with those big waves. Well, anyways, besides the waves, it was a very fun time out there on St. Clair. I mean, you just always gotta love a good old St. Clair Smalley. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion.